So this is round three of us making a video about getting charging working while we remote start. I'm following up with my other two videos because uh, I thought I got it working and then I thought I didn't get it working and I confused myself and then I was talking with somebody who was kind enough to reach out from Coachman and he asked me a simple question. If, uh, if I was on the side of the road getting a charge even though my Balmer alternator wasn't working, if I was getting a charge from the solenoid, then I had to have been getting a signal back in the back because that solenoid doesn't work without a 12 volt signal either. And uh, just that basic question, light bulb, he was right. Um, the reason our Balmore wasn't working was the regulator was down, but sure enough, we were getting a, an appropriate signal uh, from port one up in the fuse box. Uh, it turns out that would have been a working solution um, if our regulator was working. Here's the confusing part. You can't open the hood and double check when you remote start. There's a safety feature with Ford that shuts remote start off when you open the hood. Anyway, today I came out and followed up with this little project again. Sure enough, no modifications necessary to your RV. Uh, all you gotta do is move that signal wire to pin one. The cooling fan seems to come on with remote start and uh, you get a charge. So I'll take a video of it working and uh, I'll try and get a video, uh, a snap of uh, where we moved it to so you can see it very specifically. And everything in our, our coachman is now working even when we remote start. But this is uh, it working. So I'm gonna just start the vehicle and you give it just a couple seconds for the regulator to come on and there it goes. And you probably can't tell in this video, but there's no click from the solenoid. So that's some pretty good juice while we're remote started. Uh, and you can imagine doing that for 30 minutes, which is the max the Afford allows. You're still getting about 70 amps in the batteries of uh, charge while you're um, in a store. And that's for us, you do that once or twice at a store and you're in pretty good shape. I was gonna show uh, where we ended up plugging in, we are in slot one, top left. We get a signal for remote start up in that top left. So after getting all our um, our regulator fixed up, uh, we're still not sure why that went out, but it could have been that we were in some pretty aggressive rain. Maybe some water got up in there. Uh, there was some corrosion all over the line, so we're thinking it might have been something like that. But uh, anyway, here is where we're plugged in up under the dash and um, no other modifications really necessary that gives you a signal on remote start and in our case now now that our regulator's fixed uh, it lights up the Balmer and we get a full nice steady charge